right back for day two with this maple. So we got Randy's bucket truck today. We're gonna drive on the, right on the grass here to try to finish that tree. It's cool, me and Randy have almost identical bucket trucks. They're both old Davy trucks. Our booms are different. His is a, yeah, a VersaLift. Mine's a Terex, but the, the trucks are the same. They're both 750s. His is a Cap motor, mine is a Cummins. His is a 2003, mine's a 2009, but they're, they're almost the same exact truck. We did a job where we used mine on Monday. Now we're doing a job together where we're using Randy's. If sometimes we're working together, we'll just take whoever's truck is closer. This is really, this is like 20 minutes from Randy's house. So we're using his, it's about an hour from my house. So I just drove my service truck. Boy. <laughs> hey folks. Yeah, I think you're gonna have I'm gonna put these boards under your tires, but I think you're gonna have to kinda get a little get more a little more run. run start. Yeah. Maybe like 30, 40 miles an hour. No problem for this. 35, 40. That's what it's meant for. I didn't think you moved uh plywood Jake. What's that? I didn't think you moved plywood. Only when the camera's going. <laughs> Showed up late, it was already laid out. Okay, back up a couple more feet. Yep, absolutely. All right, you're probably good. Just put the, go this way a little more. Yeah, and put it in hyperdrive. <laughs> but you gotta put it in forward here, not reverse. <laughs> On the wood. All right, third time's the charm. He's really gonna go for it. Oh. Oh. Dude, that was a good call with the plastic. It worked perfect. You spit it out at the end a little bit, but it actually worked awesome. This truck's gonna make the rest of this tree way easier. Oh, dude, I lost my orange cover. Did you? Oh, off. Holy crap, this thing is slippery up here. Oh yeah, I think I'm leaking a little hydraulic fluid out of the, do you see it? I don't see it, yeah, I do. Yeah. I mean, it just like, I feel like it just leaks. I don't know why. Holy smoke, dude, it's so slippery. Oh yeah, slippery when wet. It's been a, been a long time since I, since you use, uh, yeah, I feel. Do you see the, the rope I replaced my cover with? Yeah, the three strand. I, I uh, actually did that myself. A little bit of a, I'm a little bit of a splicer myself. I'm kidding, I'm not. Yeah, I just see a knot. I'm not, uh, I'm not a splicer. I just want to sound cool. Man, it's gonna offer you a job at the splicing department at Sappy, but I guess that would interfere with <laughs> snappy supplies, right? Kind of a conflict of interest for me. Yeah, I get that. Man, I'm glad we got the bucket for this. Oh, it's fast, shoot. Faster, faster than uh, who, whose bucket? Whose bucket is it faster than? <laughs> Say it out loud. <laughs> Too fast. That's... That, was a, that was a fast bucket, baby. I really don't know how much you'll be able, I mean, you're kind of over the whole center, right? Like as far as the, the knuckle back, back boom will go. We're gonna get so much, Randy. Yes, we are. Is that about all you can get now? I gotta climb the rest out. <laughs> yeah, okay, you <Q> up. <laughs> Go ahead, buddy. I got the hard part. <laughs> People's so weird, like even out here, everything's still tangled. Yeah. It's not a great, it's not a great thing for it. Look how tangled this is. This is so gnarly. Why is it like that? It's so fun. Weird because I get that it's like kind of, probably because it grew up by itself, you know? I mean, in a forested environment. I'll just tell my GoPro, when I got here, I asked the guy, well, not when I got here, at the end of the day, I'm like, did this tree used to have a bunch of trees around it? Because it seems like it was really reaching for the sky and just trying to get every bit of light possible because usually they're not so tangled. He said, yeah, there used to be trees all around this thing. So <laughs> oh, that's a thing. It's already cut for you. 
Dude, this crap is still hitting me in the head. <laughs> this tree is a tree from heck. Dude, yeah. We're gonna send it back to heck. Man, this is so weird. I'm glad we have the bucket because if I was trying to rig this stuff, it'd be all breaking and stuff right over that shed. I'm really glad. I do want to tell you, Jake, that uh, the bucket truck is being a little wobbly. Why would you tell me that? Just to make your spirits high. <laughs> just to let you know, hey man, it's not a big deal. It's just okay. So you told me that. Now will you tell me some sweet, sweet lies? Yeah, sweet. Okay. Well, hey, you're doing solid. Move around like a cowboy, baby. With the top left back and the sunshine shining. Cause I sleep all day. I can a single mile away. <laughs> Dude, my bucket's way less wiggly, way taller. <laughs> way better in every way. Those cuts are always stupid. Yeah, right? When it's just dangling straight down, there's no. Do you top bar and do it towards you, towards your hand? It's always like sketch no matter what. Totally get me, Randy. I was thinking the same thing. I read you like a book. I make it fun of your bucket, but it's very, it's actually very smooth. Hear that, folks? <laughs> I actually just spend like weeks lubing my bucket so it stays smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Hours a day. Hundreds of gallons. <laughs> you didn't even compliment on how clean it, clean my bucket is. What do you mean? I don't know. I just wanted to do this. Say, like, I actually wash it, but I don't. I wash it with like a fresh wash like three times a year. Oh, I did notice that the plywood was clean. Thanks. Probably from all the oil you put on it. See, the the, the plotting was that I, I I put the hydraulic up there this morning and saying, hey, Jacob's gonna use it. Then he's gonna fall and break his leg, and someone's gonna have to take over his channel, right? <laughs> Who better than, than than someone that is, you know, we could change it for like a month, like Guilty of Randy. <laughs> for like a month, you know, while you're on the men. We can do like check-in episodes with you. I can bring you soup. That'd be awesome. Post a video. <laughs> I'm not even in it. That'd be, what if it did like even better? That'd be awkward. <laughs> <laughs> got 10 million views. Yeah, Guilty of Randy is the best. <laughs> oh, we loved it. It was so much better than your other videos. All his cursing and his naughty words. He just kills it. Ma Max, Max Boom. <laughs> What's it call me? Max Boom. It's an action movie I'm writing. Max Boom. That's going to be... I'm working on an action movie, me and Tanner. We're working on an action movie. Max Boom. <laughs> Turny at law. Yeah, Max Boom 2, Death to Trees. Max Boom, this is treason. <laughs> Down. All the way, you're good. How do you feel about just locking off a big one? I would love it. Like a big old turd, just locking it off.
That was a big piece. Yes, it was. I loved it. That shrunk up the tree dramatically. Is there any way you can go back to the rigging point? Because I think it's a... I'm really not in the mood. Okay, I'll get up there. I'll... <laughs> One, two, three, down. Yes, all the way. See, here, see folks, that's how you do it. I'm sorry, I'm just practicing. <laughs> <laughs> holy cannoli. I love cannolis. Dude, cannolis are so freaking good. Oh, here's a peanut butter and chocolate one out of my, my local cannoli spots. You got a local cannoli spot? Yeah, but don't tell Cinnabon. <laughs> I have a conflict of interest and that's not they I'll, they shall be named nameless i'm sure you've got mr cannoli hitting you up all the time well he's like when are you gonna do guilty of randy i, I, I go over this <laughs> when's guilty of randy coming out so okay randy so here's my question though because i i can uh we can fall this stuff too like because we're not going to move the bucket right so uh i can chunk these sticks down yes because i'm really good yeah, you're good at that. Do we want to use them for anything? I was saying using that far one. The one on the left? Yeah. This is probably your best tie-in, this lefty one, you know? Well, I was just gonna go up and tie in on that super skinny one. Like, we can get rid of both of those if you wanted, but I would like one for a, a rigging spar. You want one of these for a rigging spar? Yeah, just one, just a rigging spar, and then I'll go up and tie in on that stupid thing way up high. Yeah, this is probably your best tie-in. I'll chunk this one once again because i can because do you think you'll have enough room to throw a rope in and then when you get down pull that that one piece over i think we can fall kind of a lot of stuff here like big cuts from the bucket oh you had to take a big top did you do you want a big saw ready that's your at your ready had to get a big saw red day <laughs> i need a big saw ran day uh yeah i'll take my 500. fill it to the brim got a boner <laughs> you want me to go fall that thing fall what the the boner in the ground i'll i'll knock it loose at this one can i get that big stuff Did you fill this up with gas? That's the fastest tank I've ever been through then. <laughs> if you filled it. I'm out of gas even though you filled it. It's super weird. <laughs> oh man. Dang it. Well. Here's, here's this. Speed line this one too, like we were doing the other day. Yeah, this back one. Speed line a bunch of this stuff. All right, well, I'll, I'll head down and uh, I might uh, set up the GRCS on that cedar and then we'll have that because I got my drill attachment. We'll go with what? I'm glad that you watch out for that thing when you step. Oh, yeah. All right. Got it from here. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, way better. <laughs> August for Andy Keith. <laughs> That's great. Give me a sec. Gotta take the old boots to her. Yeah, it wants to fight you. Oh, you stupid piece of garbage. Uh-oh. Um, I'll probably just 
deal with it down here. I'm getting caught up on air. If I just lower it, it'll just wedge in that crotch, right? I'll just deal with it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'll deal with it down here. I think it's gonna get caught up pretty high though. Oh, it's actually, you know what? It's not going nowhere. I can, I can kind of dice it if you want me to. Yeah, go, f go for it. Perfect. Come all the way down, right? Oh. Alright, I'll just deal with it down here. I hate this tree, dude. I straight up hate this tree. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of it either. It's not, it's not easy. This tachyon? Yeah, this is what's on my, you know, we have, you have a, you have a, a bucket truck set up. Yeah. This is my bucket truck set up. It's like the worst of everything you got. Yeah, pretty much all the, all the recycled stuff. I actually really like, uh, so I have a monkey beaver in my truck and then I have a sequoia in my bucket, but I really like the sequoia a lot, especially um, like in the summer, especially like if I don't have a big saw or if I'm pruning or something, like it's so light and I feel like really nimble in it. I have a tree motion in my, in my bucket. Oh, okay. I'm so glad that you're struggling in this tree because I was struggling in this tree. No, I'm not struggling. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just like, Trying to make it seem like I'm struggling. <laughs> know what I mean? Yeah, totally. Like if you wanted the tree down by now, like that's, I could have done it. Oh. How'd that feel? Uh. Great. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Do you want me to zip line out this wood or should I just let it fly if I can? Do whatever you want. Yeah, that's, I was waiting for you to say that. Cool. What the heck? Not having a good time. Dude, I had a gnarly willow piece of wood peel like that yesterday. I was so scared. I thought I was going to hit Kevin. He was like standing on the other side of the trunk. It like swung all the way around. I was like, oh. Willow is such weird wood. It's like rotten and nasty and soft, but also really heavy. And it hinges kind of well. Yeah, it has like a, a different type of attitude. Yeah, it like peels like crazy. But it's like, why does it hold on? It's so weak. It's weird. I hate cutting willow, dude. It stinks like but too i felt like a horrible climber in that tree like you and me both man i'm i am struggle busting for certain jake i am so sorry but i just put that on my rope don't be sorry i was hoping i could run over here because i love sprinting so much it feels good get the legs sprinting i got all this meat energy you know oh uh, yeah oh my gosh dude, this what's going on <laughs> Look at that thing. I told I just like I'm not doing good right now. I'm straight up not having a good time. No, I mean I'm having a good time. I'm just I'm just not doing good. I'm enjoying complaining. Yeah, I'm, I don't mind doing that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, complain <laughs> complaining is awesome. Complaining's cool. It's a great way to pass the time. Okay, that's all yours. <laughs> this is freaking sick, dude. Like, can you imagine doing this any other way? It'd be so lame. We'd have to tagline it out. Yeah, no, I don't know. That looks like pretty rainbowy. You'd have to like, this is my suggestion, to take that off, get it to where it can like, you can have control of it, let it down like super fast instead of being frictioned out. Oh man. All right, here, here's, I got this. Check this out. People don't normally teach this, but I'll teach it. One, two, three, and through. 
Go ahead and pull on that. You ever do that? Yeah, I put it. I don't know what you're doing. Well, I put a knot on the back side of the rope so when you make it tight, it's gonna make it tighter faster. I should have ripped some more through, but it is what it is. Yep. I still don't even know what you did. It looks totally normal. No, but what I did is like, so I put a knot, I pulled a bunch of slack towards me and then I put a like Alpine butterfly so it won't go through that carabiner. See this? So I pulled a bunch of slack and then once this hits the carabiner, it can't go through it, but it's gonna pull. Oh, you did it with your line. Like I did it with the zip line. I put a, a knot on the back of the, the slide line so it had, had more. Uh... Hey, look at the brain on Randy. <laughs> Nice. Now it's yours. <laughs> Don't you know how weak I am? Okay, struggle bus. This is the last one that's gonna be pretty, pretty hellacious for me to do. Which I'm really excited for. Not it's like, dude. I feel like we can. We're almost to the point where we can just winch over huge stuff. You know. Oh yeah. What would you say your typical day looks like at your normal job? One removal, easy as crap. Off at like two, three o'clock. Probably get to the job around nine. This is gonna pop pretty hard. The popping might help. Like pop over and over that thing. I'm just kind of nervous too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Yo, that was sick. That helped it out immensely. Yeah, super hog. Oh, it's hung up on the fur. That's kind of wild. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> it's all because of my super hog. <laughs> oh, if anyone understands about a super hog, it's me. <laughs> I get it. <sighs> the rope is on a weird side of it. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We are balling up on the, ah, okay, you got it. Oh, it's gonna come. It's gonna come, partner. Uh oh, what the heck's going on? Oh, it got like. You lied to me. No, no, it is. Oh, God. You know when it's frictioned out on the carabiner and it's like tur turning against the rope? Oh, you got it. Taking my kids to Disneyland next month. First time? Yeah, for them. That's awesome. I've been. I don't mess around. I go to Disneyland. You ever been to Disney World? Yeah, I've been to both. Oh. I like Disneyland better, I think. It's just like the best of everything, you know? Disney World's so much. Yeah. Have you been? Yeah, I've been to both. I just like, I'm a big Harry Potter head, so I like their Diagon Alley or whatever. Dude, I freaking love Harry Potter. Yeah, I'm a big, big Harry Potter head for sure. Let me guess, Hufflepuff? <laughs> Ravenclaw. <laughs> yeah, Hufflepuff, the worst. Hufflepuff. Yeah, I went to the Diagon. They don't have that at Disneyland, huh? Yeah, they don't have that at Disneyland. I went to Disneyland when I was really young. I don't, I mean... How do you feel about just using uh, maybe like your climbing line to pull over the one you're tied in, the zip line to pull over the other one, and I think I can just dump that other one behind you. I think I can cut everything from the bucket where you're standing right now. Yeah? Yeah, because we've already got ropes in each of those, right? Yeah, I'm totally down if you're gonna like, you can take my gear in here. Yeah, I think you can just, yeah. you can run the GRCS. I would just come on down. Yeah, I think we can just yard them with those, with what we got already in them, as long as you don't mind using your climbing line to I mean, I know that you like chicks, but all, but you could probably just stick it in the GRCS and just that that will your rope reach that one? That one's definitely the one that needs the cranking the most. If we 
choke it off. Yeah, we can choke it off. I would say just hard tie both those and uh, just freaking yard them over, dude. Nice job, buddy. Thank you. The first part that was super dumb the first day, that yeah. just like getting that tangled mess, yeah. and then that far right side that was dumb. Just like, uh, uh, I can't believe that took. This is like one of the worst, my least favorite trees I've ever done. Ever? You've been doing it? Are you, yeah. There's got to be some tree in the. Well, no, I'm not saying it's, I'm not saying it's the worst one. I'm saying it's up there. Like oh, I'm gonna there. remember this forever. Like oh how, yeah, I'll definitely. I think the worst part was just how easy it looks from a distance, but how everything got tangled. How it you looks know? like a standard. Like I'm gonna go up there and just yada yada cut yada. It like a maple. <laughs> if I have my 562, if you want to make cuts of that, put the bucket truck handle saw. Sure, yeah, I'll use that thing. Where's that at? Yeah, I kind of like the half wrap for the bucket. Does it got gas? I'm a big fan of the gas. Yeah, that's good. You're, you're good with that? I don't want to have another issue like that. <laughs> Sweet. I'm going to put some of your... We won't need little saws anymore, really, will we? Um, I, I'll never use a little saw again. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then I'm going to put them... I'm going to put them in my rig. <laughs> Perfect. That was awesome. Woo! So yeah, this part of your GRCS is starting to diddle. The the little yeah, the end where you put in your bit. Yeah, I noticed it's like comes out a little bit. Yeah, I think I don't know if that's. Uh, I think it's good. I think it's just supposed to do that over time. It's broken in. Yeah, I think it's perfect. All right, so now we'll hard tie this baby. Do I pull this up? Like, am I good? Yeah, you can pull that. It has a bow. It has a bowling on it. I'll do it here in a sec. I just gotta grab some rope real quick before I. Uh... Then I'll just take it easy. Yeah, take it easy. She's my lady, and hey. Oh wow, this carabiner is just like it looks like it almost broke. <laughs> well, we were side loading it a little bit, so I'm not surprised. Hopefully, the viewers don't get on us about that. Well, get get on me. It's my channel now. So. Yeah. Hopefully your viewers. My viewers aren't going to say squat because I'll fight them. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a problem with the way I do tree work, I'll fight you. And there's a meeting place I have with all the people that I challenge to fight. I feel like some of these tree guys would. Oh, absolutely. You're wrong. Boom, boom. How do you feel about the Hobbit movies? You know, a lot of people like don't like them, but just because they're too like kiddish. But I mean, I don't really mind them just because it's something to watch. But I mean, so much in there it's not even in the books they just make stuff up uh, they just like are making a movie but that weird i don't know it bugs me like that chick the elf chick that likes the dwarf guy oh, that's not real that's not real at all elf dwarf no i mean i don't i, I don't mind it because it's just something to watch yeah no i feel you there like i watched the uh, rings of power series and i'm not really that into it i'm not into it but i, I, I i'm definitely watching it those first three movies man they're just so good like there's, there's nothing bad about them yeah and what's crazy is they stand the test of time like they, they're still to this day awesome the, everything about them the fight scenes uh tell me when i got it on <laughs> Nice job, Jake. That was sick. We did it, buddy. So, here's the question. Do we put a line in it and follow the whole cluster? Or do I fall each one of these, like, at the Union? What, what do you think? What do you feel best about? Because either way, like, let's say when you do that at the Union, there's still a big gnarly cut that we have to do. I know. What I'm worried about is falling the whole thing and it, like, flipping, like, an insane amount. Like, rolling down there? Yeah. Because it's kind of gnarly. You know, I personally, I think it would just go, but honestly, the, the one that I would want to take away just so it does that is it's, it's like kind of counterintuitive is the front one. 
you're right. Yeah, then a lamp. No, you're totally right. But we have the GRCS. Should I grab you a rope? I think you're totally right. Let me cut this big buddy off. I, can I get a bigger saw? Yeah, you want the 500? Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get through it. I think I'll fight. Take my uh, husky. The, uh, husky 395. 592. So many names. The hus Husky 6969. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a side run. Uh, and I'll make sure it has gas this time. That they work really good like that. I just usually figure they run on hopes and dreams. I can't even reach. This sucks. I can't even reach it. Reached what? The cut? The union. Oh, my bucket truck's too too short. So what I can do is I can cut it here, and then we can do a salami cut. And then I think you're right. I think we can just follow. Yeah, I think it's widespread enough. It's not going to roll or do nothing. is actually pretty good. I couldn't see anything of any of my cuts, so I feel probably make all my cuts blind now. You can do a salami cut now, or I can actually. Just like, oh, I thought you were like short on your cut. Like, you know, when you're like. No, like my bar is too, like I need a. You need a bigger bar? Yeah, you got one. Yeah. I'm just gonna grab, is my 500 over? I put it, I'm sorry, I put it away. I'm, I'm an amateur hour, sorry. Cracks. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. Yeah, that's actually that's uh, nice job, Jake. For I mean, no real cleanup, no real dutchy. I mean, that's good with a what 450. How big is that bar? 50. This is where the humble is really nice on the bigger trees because it, it, you you got gravity helping you get the get the uh, face cut out of the tree. But here, I'm trying to get absolutely as low as I can so I can get out of those unions. And for so for that, it's just. If I went with a Humboldt, it would be a much, you can get a wider face cut this way. So that's why I went with the conventional on this guy. And uh, the face cut actually turned out pretty good. There's not really, not really any cleanup needed here. That's pretty good. So it's nice to have that 50 inch bar to help you 
get lined up even though I still had to do a bit of carving with the 32 you know That's still a big back cut for how big that face is. Give it a little zap. No, uh, I can't. The the, zap, the zapper doesn't work with the with the with it like this. Okay. How does it feel? Oh, it feels tight as I mean. Now it's moving. You want me to crank it? Hold on, let me look over here. Short over there. Yeah, you have a little bit of wood to cut over there. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm a big man, but what I'm saying is the bar is not long enough. Oh, the blade. The, the blade does not reach across the back cut. <laughs> I can I can get some I can capture some uh... If you notice he walks around the back folks that's that's super important for safety Oh want to crank a little? Uh yeah, a little bit. Okay, hold on. Let me get out of here. Is it mine? Can I take it home? Yeah, take it home, Randy. Yeah, I'm just looking to take the YouTube channels. <laughs> that was awesome. Wow, big old stump. It busted him a bunch of pieces. I was low on my back cut here, but it's fine. So, I mean, we should measure this thing. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a beastly. It's a big Decigi tree. You got a measuring tape? Hey, nice job. Um, Thanks. Yeah. This way? Yeah, I'm kind of curious. Yeah, man. That's a that's a keister. Nice job. Thanks, you too. I'm sorry about this. This is the full second day. It was a full <laughs> day. I'll never and with forgive the myself. And with the bucket. Yeah, I'll never forgive myself for that. It's all right. And you know what? I want to be honest with you. I've been thinking about it. If you don't want to work with me ever again, <laughs> I get it. Well, at least this won't be that awkward now because I, I don't want to say it. <laughs> I didn't want to have to be coming to you say, hey, this is the, ter I'm terminating our, our relationship. At least we don't have to do a stump cut. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty, pretty awesome. But I mean, that was a tree, dude. Yeah, man. That was, I, I there it won't be, I won't forget this one for a long time. Which one? <laughs> I've already forgotten. 52 inches, okay, that makes sense. What's that? 61. 61. Okay. 61 inches. Holy smokes. There it is, folks. 61 inches. That's how big the stump was. I mean, that was a 50 inch bar. I was pretty short with it. Pretty, pretty crazy. Oh man, this thing kind of split apart. You know, I was watching a YouTube the other Got day. It. Yep. And then something like this happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm planning on taking over that YouTube channel here soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's so weird like it's hard to even say what was so hard about it but it was so hard like definitely something like it was definitely a hard harder tree than we i mean honestly than we were both thinking but yeah jake yeah east side tree had plywood or or mats or something right yeah i never helped them either <laughs> but isn't it crazy how like sometimes matting can take up more of the job than like the actual job. Oh, absolutely. Like you're like, I'm at it in to get the crane in, one pick with the crane. It's nice to have like a big crew, you know? Yeah, you got like uh, five guys, five pieces of plywood moves the crane, you know, so many, so fast. Yeah, like, you know, sometimes you're like, there's just too many guys here. I never feel that way when there's 
plywood to move. Mats to move, here needs to be like 10 dudes. Row gets built really fast. All right, everybody, well, thanks for watching. That was kind of a fun one. Well, uh, no, it really wasn't that fun. It was fun, it was fun hanging out with Randy, but that tree wasn't that, that tree wasn't that fun, but nice job today, Randy. Yeah, you too, thank you. Cheers uh, again. Yeah, um, that was a tough one. I feel bad. So, that you struggled so bad. <laughs> <laughs> that was a difficult It was, yeah. Well, please like and subscribe. Check out my store, sappysupplies.com. Check out Randy. Just just Google Randy. You'll you'll find him. He's, you know. I mean, just check out my YouTube. Look, be on the lookout for it. Yeah. Just, just, just keep your eye on <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> All right. See you guys.